there. So today I'm going to be doing a chit-chat get ready with me using some very exciting shadows, attempting to use some very exciting shadows. I got the sample collection of Clean Cauldron eyeshadows for her very first cosmetic line, and it's a Halloween-themed collection, which is always fun. And I just got her sample baggies, and then I de- bagged them into these little plastic containers that I had, so I find these easier to use than the little sample baggies, so I did that. If you order the full collection from Clean Cauldron for the Halloween shadows, you get either loose or pressed, and you get a full-size glitter if you order the full collection, but again, I just ordered the sample. So I just have some rose water heritage store spray on my face, nothing else, obviously. And I'm going to just do a light face of makeup. I usually put on my Raw Skin Suticles foundation, but I'm just going to lightly conceal with the Glory Boon Heal and Conceal. And um, I find that this works better with a concealer brush rather than, you know, it has this oval-shaped opening, and I think some people just swipe it on, but I feel like I get too much, or it just goes on weird when I try to swipe it on, because if you get too much of this on, it can be a little muddy. So, with this little brush... I just put it exactly where I want it, and then I can blend out with my finger. So, I'm just going to blend. This is a really nice concealer for days where you want light makeup, especially for covering up blemishes, because it has such great ingredients, and it's not going to aggravate your skin anymore. So, I would recommend this for those sorts of things, but... I'm not, it has like a color matching sort of technology where it's supposed to kind of match to your skin. Um, and I do think it does that to some extent, but just you have to make sure not to get too much on because it can end up looking muddy. But as you can see, you know, I have it on under my eyes and on my face and it does a pretty good job concealing things and it has great ingredients. So I do really like that Heal and Conceal by Glory Boon, especially when you kind of get the hang of using it. So I'm just going to put on some Honey Bee Gardens Pressed Powder Foundation in Supernatural with my furless brush. So I'm also going to be showing you guys these new furless brushes that I got a few weeks ago, which I have been using and really liking. So this is their powder brush. I took advantage of a sale and got 15% off and I got five brushes. So I'm just going to set with this powder all over, or I guess not set because I don't have anything on. <laughs> I'm going to use this powder to cover my face. And I'm just going to do a really light dusting just to kind of help me even out a little bit. So what I try to do is pat it on and then, you know, knock any excess off. So that's it for the face. I'm going to do brows. That's what I usually do next. So just going to use this little Ardell Duo spoolie with angled brush. Brush them out. I <laughs> trimmed my brows a few days ago, and they're still a little wonkified, so I'm going to need some filling in action. I just use this Real Purity eyeshadow in Espresso that I've had for literally two years. So I just fill in. So is everybody, like, really glad that summer is over? Because I'm a little sad. I do like the fall in the Bay Area. It's gorgeous. Like, for example, we've had a heat wave, and it was, I don't live in the city, but on Saturday it was, like, over 90 degrees in Golden Gate Park in the city. 
so obviously people are just dying because it never gets that hot <laughs> in San Francisco, especially during the summer, but the fall there is gorgeous, and the fall in the Bay Area is just gorgeous because it's still warm, and it's kind of cooling off a little bit, so you're getting a break, and this morning it was cool, but I do, I just don't like the winter. Am I the only one? I know that everybody's super stoked about getting their fall stuff out, but I'm just kind of mad about it. It's just, I don't know. It is nice, but I do like my summers. So there are the brows, and I'm just going to do a light sweep of this all-natural face vegan eyeshadow primer. And I usually put the oil-absorbing mineral veil on top of this, but I'm just not going to do that today. And then I usually put a cream shadow on top of the oil absorbing all all on top of the oil absorbing mineral veil from Pumpkin and Poppy, but I'm not gonna do that either. This look is just for you guys, so I don't need to do anything to try to make it last a super long time. Okay then, so I have my primer on. And the first color I'm going to try is this color called Disguise, and it's a dark brown color. So these are the labels that came on the sample baggies. I was tempted to pick up the full pressed collection, but oh, I just have so many shadows right now, and I'm trying to save some dollars by not being too out of control. I buy enough stuff, that's what it comes up down to. That's what it comes up to and down to. What am I saying? So this is a really nice chocolate brown color, and I'm just taking the Furless ME5, and it's a flat shader brush, and I'm just laying this down on the lid, and I'm also going to kind of blend that up. So this is pretty much the first time I've used any of these shadows. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm sorry if things get too crazy. But I'm going to try using them all, and at least you'll be able to see the colors, hopefully a little bit, and how they look with each other, even though I'm not really that good at putting on makeup on at all. Putting on makeup on. I'm not that good at talking at all either. But this is a really pretty color. And, you know, it's going to get better. I know it always looks scary. I always see girls doing makeup looks. And, like, at this stage, and I'm like, ugh, <laughs> that poor girl. But it's going to get better. Don't you worry. Okay. <clears throat> I'm drinking my red chai masala organic India tea. I'm going to take a lantern next. It's this really nice glowy orange shade and I think I'm going to put this on in my inner corner. I just decided. <laughs> Didn't know until right now. Surprise! But this is just such a nice glowy shade. So I'm going to put that in my inner corner and then I'm just using this little brush that I got forever and a day ago. Lantern is probably my favorite shade out of all these, I would say, just because it's a really wearable color for me, and it's just a super unique color, I feel like, too. I feel like it's perfect for fall, but it's not like it's just straight orange. It's a warm... Um, really nice duochrome of like yellow and orange and even like a little light pink. I don't know, it really is unique in different lighting situations. So I'm going to do that in the inner corner and then I think for the crease I'm going to try to put full moon. Let's try a little bit of that. Full moon is this moon colored gray. So I think I'm going to try putting that there, 
just to kind of anchor that disguise brown shadow. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I'm going to blend this up into the crease and brow bone. Looks quite pretty. I don't think it's as much of a disaster as it could be. I really like this little shader brush that I got forever and a day ago from who knows where, eBay probably or something. Um, I literally got this brush probably like six, seven years ago. And it's just perfect for laying on shadow and then also like, it's just a, I really like the tiny size of it. So I'm just blending. Okay, so those are Disguise on the lid, Lantern in the inner corner, and Full Moon on the crease, outer V kind of place. And the last color in this collection is called Hunted. And that's a really dark brown, I would call it. Super dark brown, almost black. Maybe it is black. But to me it looks super dark brown. I'm going to also be doing, if I didn't already say this, I forget if I did. Um, I'm going to be doing a haul video after this. Showing swatches. So I'm just going to take Hunted, which is that super brown black color. Super brown, super dark brown black color. And I'm just going to use that to line, and then I'm going to kind of lightly wing it out. But not really. I'm more just darkening... where I want that shadow line to be. Same thing on the other side. Kind of smudge it into the lash line. Bring it part way out. I don't want to take it too much onto lantern because I have such hooded eyes. Hooded wise. on. But then I'm just going to, I have this little flat brush from Fidelium Tools, so I'm just doing the liner and then brushing it up into that full moon color. So to blend it all together, I'm going to grab my Furless blending brush. This one doesn't have a name on it, so I think it's just their, like, crease brush, fluffy blending brush, something like that. I'm just going to take that and kind of blend the edge, blend this area, blend those all together. Now what I might do, too, to make things come together even a little more is take full moon again and get it on my little flat brush that I had earlier and smudge this just onto my lower lash line and kind of underneath that line just to kind of soften it a bit. I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Blend this area a little more. I feel like full moon on the top and the bottom kind of bring together the smokiness, but not in a really, really super dark way. Now I'm just going to get any fallout out of there. You care. I'm also going to take a little bit of full moon and just put it right on the lid. Right 
layer, just a teeny tiny bit of it, to give this look a little more complexity and to open up that lower lid a tiny bit. Okay, so there's the finished eyeshadow look using all four shadows from Clean Cauldron. My eye is so weird on this side. I always get like these little weird build-up places. It doesn't do it over here at all. Like it just blends perfectly, but for some reason on this side it always kind of catches. I just need mascara, I think. Mascara solves everything. Okay. So I'm using my red apple lipstick the lash project I've had this for a couple months now this is the first coat on both eyes of the lash project I'm just going to do one more coat so I think this is a really pretty soft kind of Halloween-y fall smoky eye I like lantern in the inner corner personally I think it adds a really nice flare and then bringing that in on the bottom lash line and connecting the full moon also on the bottom lash line I think is really nice. Yeah. And then I'm going to finish my face. You thought I was done. I'm not done yet. I'm going to just use a little bit of this Thistle Blush because it's been what i am been using every day and I like the way it, it starts out with this really bright purple color so you're kind of like worried like oh man what am I getting myself into but it kind of morphs on your skin to just a really nice flush of natural color so I'm going to use my purple power the angled contour or the angled blush brush from Furless the PF3 and I love this brush for bronzer and blush but I'm just going to take that thistle brush or this old blush from Madison Street Beauty and it looks a little scary at first I know but you're gonna blend it it's okay people it's gonna all work out trust me trust me we're gonna take that powder brush blend 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 and then hopefully you kind of get a chance to see how it just morphs into my skin in a little bit so last thing I'm going to do is highlight my inner corner with this highlighter from Madison Street Beauty, the Sheer Glow Highlighter, and that looks like this. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner and on my brow bone. I'm also going to take my last brush, which is the Pro 5M Furless Fan Brush, and carefully <laughs> Carefully make a mess everywhere. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that highlighter just so I can show you this brush essentially. I haven't really been highlighting that much. But this brush does a really nice job of just getting that highlighter exactly where you want it. So hopefully you can see this is a really pretty look, I think. I know that it looks a little grungified over in that region, but okay. This is the finished look. I'll take my hair down. I like this look. I think that it's a dark look that would be good for a nighttime outing. Try to get my hair into something that looks like a hairstyle. Huh. Alright, so that's it. That's the finished look. 
I hope you enjoyed this somewhat. I can't wait to see other green beauty ladies play around with the clean cauldron shadows because I know they're going to have a lot better looks than this. So thanks, Viv, for making great products for us all to enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. From me to you, see you soon. To get ready with me using... Should I turn the music off? That would probably be smart. Oh, man. One fell into the ethos. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, lantern eyeshadow. Come back to me. Oh. Oh, man. Come on. Okay. No. No.